I think to key very much into what Shelby was saying of, of not this binary view, I think the best model of grieving that shows differences between men and women and adults and children is the dual process, Strobe and Shoot. And what they talk about is at the moment of the loss, whatever that loss is, and it could be a living loss like losing your job or the death of someone that you love, we have two instinctive responses, loss orientation to emote and grieve and feel the pain of loss and restoration orientation to be okay, to survive, to move on and kind of invest in life. And that we oscillate between the two and doing one allows you to do the other by giving yourself opportunities to grieve, frees you to have time to be restorative, to go for a walk, to have a break from grief. Men tend to be restorative. Men tend to want to go for a plan, to go for hope, to fix things. Women tend to be loss oriented. They want to look in their memory box. They want to emote and grieve. They have a kind of Sherlock Holmes need to know every single piece of the puzzle that's missing. And they can look at their partner and think he's a selfish, you know what, for not showing what he feels. And he can think that she's a wet rag for doing nothing but crying and refusing to kind of look to the future of life. And it's a seesaw. So when I work with couples, I suggest they um, give each other, help each other with the other so that he can help her have be restorative and have hope for the future and she can give him opportunities to grieve. And children, we try and protect them from pain. We try and say, there, there, you're going to be okay. Children are amazing. They bounce back. But actually, children grieve as much as we do. And firstly, it's modelled by what they observe in their parents so that we shouldn't protect our children from what we're feeling. But children very much do the loss and restoration. But with the metaphor is jumping in and out of puddles. So children can be incredibly sad and really cry that their grandmother has died. And then two minutes later, they can hop out of the puddle, fight with their brother, steal his ice cream, roar with laughter, skip and get on with his day. And then something else will upset him and he'll be back in the puddle. And our job as the adults around them is to not say, no, 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 don't feel it, is to support them in it, let them feel it, support them, listen to them, but don't try and they're there them out of it.